What's up, Vital MT Beers? There are four new bikes launched today. Two mountain bikes and two e-bikes. Guess what? Three out of the four have cable routing that goes through the headset. We're going over the new Orbea Rise, the Scott Lumen E-Ride, the Comensal Tempo, and the new Giant Rain. To keep this informative for everyone, I've taken all the marketing mumbo jumbo out of the press releases. I'm reading you the facts and the figures of each bike. You can pass judgment as you see fit, so let's go. The Giant Rain has been updated with new frames that offer adjustable geometry and the option to use either a 29 inch or 27 5 inch rear wheel. They have Maestro suspension with 160 mils of travel, that's 14 millimeters more than before, and they use a 62.5 millimeter stroke trunnion shock. There are flip chips that offer three different geometry settings with 5 mils of BB drop in each and 0.4 degrees of head angle tweakage, anywhere from 63.5 degrees up to 64.2. The Rain Advance Pro uses a carbon frame. The Rain and Rain SX drool, use Alux SL aluminum frames. The Rain Advance Pro and the Rain have 160 mils of travel out back with a 170 millimeter fork. They come stock with a 29 inch rear wheel, but they have that ability to swap to 27.5 for anyone who wants to run a mullet. The Rain SX gets 165 millimeters of rear travel, and it's a full time 27.5 rear wheel bike. There's a coil shock and a 190mm travel dual crown fork up front. What up, chairlift? Both carbon and aluminum frames have integrated storage in the down tube. All models and sizes can fit a water bottle and have new updated cable ports. Expected availability is March 2023 with the Rain Advance Pro at $6,800 US, the Rain 2 at $3,600, and that super sweet Rain SX at $4,600. We've got links to everything we're going to talk about in the description below, so hit it up to learn more. If Comensal can promise us that we're going to shred like Fricks Fricks, we'll take two of these tempos, please. Or is it T E M P O S? Comensal Short Travel Alloy 29er gets 125 mils of rear travel, 140 up front. They've gone virtual pivot with their virtual contact suspension system. It's got a 65 and a half degree head angle. Mediums have a 450 mil reach. Larges get a 470. There's a 76.6 degree seat angle, 435 millimeter chain stays on smalls and mediums, and 440 mils on large and extra larges. The thing that sticks out most, those head tube routed cables. We know there are plenty of opinions on this already. It's got frame protection, a UDH, yada, yada, yada. Pretty simple, pretty clean as we'd come to expect from Comensal. It's four models starting at 3,200 US, going up to 6,200, and the frame only is $1,800. All right, it's e-bike time. The 2023 Orbea Rise is here, and Vital Staffers actually enjoyed the previous Rise in both carbon and alloy versions. We actually have this new one here to test, so our impressions will hit sometime in the future. The bike literally landed the day before this press release came out. Here's the quick and dirty on the new Rise. There are carbon and alloy frame options. Gets 140 mils of rear travel and either 140 or 150 millimeters of fork travel. 29 inch wheels, sizes small to extra large. The verified weight of the size large carbon MLTD build that we just received, 16.1 kilograms or 35.6 pounds. This weight will probably go up because we plan on beefing up this build a little bit, just like anyone could with the Orbea Mayo configurator on their site. Carbon rise prices start at $69.99 and go up to $11,499 for the MLTD that we have. The aluminum hydro models start at $52.99 and top out at $65.99. The carbon bikes have the new Shimano EP801 motor, features the RS tune, and gets 60 newton meters of torque. The alloy options get the 60 newton meter Shimano EP6 with RS tune. There's 360 watt and 540 watt hour internal battery options. The bike comes stock with the 360, that's what the prices reflect, but you can power up to the 540 watt hour using the Mayo configurator when you customize a bike. The 360 watt hour battery is 300 grams less than the previous version and it's compatible with the previous alloy frames. Orbea estimates the range with the 360 watt hour battery in boost mode at 1200 meters of climbing and 1700 meters with the 540 watt hour. There's a 252 watt hour range extender that can add 700 meters of climbing if you're in boost too. Obviously rider weight, trail conditions, all of that play into the range, hence the word estimated. Charging time on the 360, you can get to 80% in 2 hours or 100% in 3 hours. If you run the 540 watt hour battery, you can get to 80% in 3 hours or 100% in 4 and a half hours. There's an EN600 wireless controller now, which is new for the Rise, and it contains the power button. Since there's no power button in the frame, seat post insertion length has been increased. 
The RS Garmin IQ app developed by Orbea handles software and programming. And in non-electrical updates for the bike, there's a new linkage that drives the shock. It's claimed to be lighter and stiffer, and it houses that cool FLP multi-tool like you can find on the Rayon. All right, into the drama, the cockpit uses Orbea's SIC system for cable routing. If you want, the SIC system makes it possible to incorporate a spin block too, which is a bar twist limiter they say protects the frame. We're not going to go into the build kits or even the geometry on this, so hit pause and read this screenshot right here, or dig into it with the link to our site feature below. Last, not least, longest and most complicated, the Scott Lumen E-Ride. Scott claims just 15.5 kilograms or just over 34 pounds for this $16,000 900SL model. There's 130 mils of rear travel with a motor and battery integrated into a tweaked Scott spark frame that has an increase of volume by 17%. They say it's possible to ride the bike with the motor turned off too. The Lumen uses a TQ HPR50 motor, which is the same as a Trek Fuel EXE. Vital staffers have ridden that and they were pretty impressed with the consistent and even subtle power output and its nearly silent nature, both while pedaling and on the downhills, meaning no cliggity clack on the way down. The TQ is 1.8 kilograms and it delivers 50 Newton meters of torque. There's a 360 watt hour internal battery with an optional 160 watt hour external range extender. They have a quick release system that allows swapping the bottle cage for the range extender battery. The system can be charged with the range extender in place and the smart charger prioritizes the bike's battery first. The main battery can reach 80% in two hours of charging. You can fit two water bottles in the frame and the suspension, like we said, is that of a Scott Spark. It uses a flex pivot in the seat stay. Scott goes into details about why they chose the internal integrated shock design, claiming refined suspension and frame construction characteristics that can control flex, keeps the shock out of the elements, keeps the center of gravity low. You can dive all into that on Vital or on the Scott site. The Lumen 900 SL and the 900 use Synchro's Fraser IC DC cockpit system. These are Scott's words, quote, the designer worked on the shape to allow the cables to flow under the bars and around the sides of the stem before disappearing into the headset with integrated plastic parts to keep it clean and efficient, unquote. The bars and stems feature multiple options for computer, light, and camera mounts, both on top or under the bar. The Lumen 910 and Contessa models feature a more standard bar and stem designed to work with internal cable routing. A minimal handlebar remote is paired to the integrated top tube display for controlling the bike, and there's a walk mode. There's a TQ app to customize and control the system as well as track your ride. The bike comes with a suggested Scott motor tune, but with the app you can tune it to be more eco or more powerful. You can alter the pedal response for either faster motor uptake or slow it down for a more natural feeling. The display is programmable through the app too. There are four models of Lumen E-Ride and at the time of this video, there was the 900 SL at $16,000 US, the 900, which we didn't have a price for, and the 910 and Contessa are both $7,000 each. Hope you're staying warm. Hope you're getting out to ride. See you on the trails.